welcome back to my channel so for today's video i will be playing as my um i'll be using the champion um aphrodite she is a really fun well honestly i feel like i'm i say this about every single character i play on like mobas because um, i don't know i just don't really find characters boring unless it's like a one trick type of thing then then um that's when I'm, i think they're boring but i usually like to try being like the more difficult champions but um i don't know i just not all the time i always i'm just i'm not really like big on a certain type of class i'll just be whatever like i always feel um because in this game you could set your like what you like to be as in you could choose the two main roles you play or you could just set it to fill mine is just fill so if there's a hunter missing which is also known as an adc or like a marksman i'll be a marksman or if there's a mage missing then i'll be that too or like whatever you know what i mean but yeah so um this um, this champion is a support they don't really have a support type class here like a support category it's mostly like a mage that has like support skills that's what they categorize them as or a guardian which is a tank is considered a support here um but i like to go if i'm support i like to be certain um tanks but mostly like the support mages and i'll just build them like really tanky and that usually helps me out like you'll see my build for aphrodite it's a lot of like aurora oh, oh. how do you say that word aura or aura, aura right a u r a i think okay um it's a lot of like aura type of gear where like it helps boost my team with like the healing and stuff like that so like my healing could do better for them and like give them just benefits and stuff but yeah and like you'll see i'm actually pretty tanky with the build i um equip and like with the stuff i get but oh my gosh so i finally like so i got the um battle pass for this one it's the avatar crossover um but yeah so i finally leveled it up to 60 i mean you have to level it up to 60 twice but um um oh okay so like let me explain what i mean by twice so right here in this game like the battle passes i think i'm not sure if it's for all of them but i know they did it because i've only gotten two battle passes which was the ruby crossover and this one now that's on which is the avatar one and what you do is you level up to 60 which is the max level and then um they have like second outfits for the champions so like Aang has his regular himself like an outfit of himself regular and then um the second one is him in like the avatar state so his eyes and his arrows are glowing same thing with Korra and then for Zuko if you've seen the show his second outfit is the one when he goes um well I'm gonna kind of spoil it if you haven't seen it um I'm gonna kind of spoil it for you but if you haven't seen it then I don't know what you're doing so it's on Netflix now and it's been out for um a couple years now so but yeah so it's when he goes and saves Aang and he's wearing like the blue mask um that is um his second outfit so okay so let me get to the whole level of thing so when you from 1 to 60 you get the regular um avatar outfits which is like the regular zuko regular Korra, and ink but also level 60 is the last level but when you complete it the levels reset and like the battle pass like it starts off like gold it turns into like bluish light I don't really know. I've kind of forgot the color exactly, but it was like a bluish color. So once you get that, you don't get as much things as you did the regular battle pass because you get a lot of stuff in the regular, like in the regular, in the beginning 60 levels. So you get like a lot. 
I play on PlayStation 4 
a while, I'm gonna start going for it. Um, but yeah, like, it's good to know I never knew until now. But, um, it, I know what the other ones do, like the yellow one is speed, the blue one is for your mana, the red one is for damage, and, um, I'm not too sure what the other ones do, like the fire giant and stuff like that, but I mean, it's okay, I guess, I don't really have good knowing, all I know is that it benefits you, and like, that's all that should matter, but, do we get a kill here? I think we do get a kill, but I was trying to go for the Medusa, um, I don't know why, I thought I was gonna be able to um, hit her with that skill, um, So with the kissing skill, it's cool because it like gives you two charges to use it. Um, I like to do that. I like to stun them and then push them back if we're trying to get a kill on them. Um, I think my dove skilled him, but her with damage is honestly really good too because like her birds do so much damage. Um, if you're going up against like a squishy champion, and then her like um back skill is really good too with damage but I just prefer building her like a support because that's what she mostly is um there's another support called um hell and she's like both ways because she like goes back and forth from light to dark and her light is all about healing and supporting your team version of her is all about damage excuse me and um so it's all about damage and like just debuffing the enemy but yeah um a lot of these matches are regular because i just go and see because like it literally this game shows you your wait time for per mode um so i'll just go for whichever one is quicker just because i want to get into the matches as soon as possible so i don't really care what game mode it is um but yeah so i wonder like if they're planning on doing any more crossovers for this game i really hope it's like an anime type crossover like something like bleach or something like that you know what i mean um i feel like that'd be really cool but yeah so i honestly have tried Aphrodite um solo lane and she was really good like once you get to a certain amount of stuff um like when you buy um that mage I forgot what it's called but it's for like mages to clear when you clear minions it like starts stacking up or whatever it's like the beginning thing you buy um when I got that and I was I was able to minions up like really fast and I was just building like damage and um cooldown just so my doves and like the pushback skill could reload quicker um but yeah I actually was able to like bring down the tower first I forgot who I was going up against um what champion it was because this was like a couple months ago but yeah it wasn't too bad um Oh my gosh, this champion. He's the Ymir. That's what the tank is called. The one that just died. Um, he is so annoying when, like, they chose him with damage. Because all he has to do is freeze you. And, like, he'll be able to, like, one-shot you if he has enough um, items with him, like, built on him. Oh my gosh, I don't know. It's crazy. But that's the thing I like about this game, too. Is, like, if you build your tank with damage... as like a damage dealer like a, a warrior or like i don't know but yeah it's just crazy like there's um there's really like like you can really have fun with your builds and stuff those oracles are cool because they give you vision into that little section where they were at but um yeah i don't i think i'm not sure if the doves give you speed i don't think so but um It'd be cool. It would be way too OP. But I noticed that, like, they then So there's, like, this mode in this game where they do this thing where it's, like, your cooldown is, like, really, really low and you don't have to worry about your mana. But, um... Oh, I died here. I forgot that I died there. Oh, but they're always, like... So you get to ban champions and stuff like that. 
like a really good hero, like a like a carry or whatever in that mode. They like completely banned this one other champion, but I remember before they even banned her. Um, it was all oh, before they even banned her. Like she was so fun, everybody was choosing her. But um, yeah, I'm still sad they removed two of the champions. Um, one of them was a guardian that I love being. She was like so fun. She would transform into a bear. Oh, I'm so sad. I hope they bring her back because I wanted to be her. But um, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna start doing like videos on another game too. Um, it's a shooting game. I'm just warning you. Like, this is my warning. I am terrible at shooting games. Like, oh my gosh. I. I don't know. My aim is so bad. And like, no matter how much I try. Well, I don't really practice that much. I enjoy it on 
Yeah, man. 